Don't watch my face, okay? Just the, just rinsing this off real quick here. I'm not watching your face. Cause Let I can literally zoom. just see your hands. Okay, let's zoom in a little more like that. Okay, that's good. Good job, Nina. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut up the zucchini here. She's cutting the zucchini. In the middle, side, 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 side. Goes a zucchini. Okay, you don't need to zoom in like that, okay, Nika? Just focus on where mommy's chopping here. Right here. We're going to start on the huge carrot. That's right. Well, cut. This corner should be good. Cut. Cut. Side, 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 side. Side, 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 side. Ooh, more carrots are going out. No more carrots. I see. Have an onion. You still see? Yeah, half an onion. all done for the vegetable now it's time for the Ooh. meat make sure not to go near that yeah i got it okay now i'm going to prepare the beef i got the sliced beef here which i will just cut up i'm just going to take a whole bunch out open them up and slice them up so it's easier to cook into bite-sized pieces like so Mika, you're blocking the camera on your finger. Yeah. Just gonna use my fingers here, my hand. Just gonna spread it out a little bit or so then later on it's easier. No, no, I wanna stop. Okay, pause it then. 
your fingers are okay now i'm just gonna marinate my beef and in here i have some leftover korean barbecue uh kalbi sauce which i'm gonna be adding to this normally i would make my own because we're in a rush for time today i'm just using a lot of the ingredients i have already on hand to use so that was the kalbi beef uh, marinade and then i'm adding oyster sauce now to this just, just about a tablespoon or so of oyster sauce and then i got some of the sesame oil sesame oil pepper pepper and then also a some little salt. bit of sugar or just sugar. about a tablespoon of sugar there and that should be it for the seasoning and now i'm just going to use my hands to marinate and mix everything up together so i'm just basically mixing the ingredients in and then just let it sit aside a little bit and let it sit about 15 20 minutes i would say and then we can start putting this on the pan to cook and then adding the vegetable on after okay this is pretty much good to go just gonna let it sit and marinate for 15 minutes so the more bogey beef has been marinated and now i'm just gonna cook it turn on the stove add a ton of oil i'm just gonna bring this up to temperature first so today i'm going to be cooking the bulgogi beef but we're actually going to be serving it over table size so i have the butane burner plus the uh, pan, the grill pan sitting on top there, just waiting. We're gonna be adding the beef and the vegetable to cook actually on table size so that it actually keeps warm at the same time. But right now we're just bringing the oil up to temperature here on here so we can cook the beef. Once that comes up to temperature, cooking on the stove I have another butane burner here on the table side and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up to temperature as well and I'm gonna cook the vegetable in here and then once the beef is ready on the other pan over there all I'm gonna do is top the beef on top of here so as you can see I got a mixture of vegetable here from earlier just zucchinis carrots mushroom green onion and some white onion and all I'm gonna do is bring this to up to temperature here and I'm just gonna pour the vegetable on top and just let it kind of sit to cook while I cook the beef so this should be up to temperature pretty shortly and all I'm gonna do is all the vegetable is just gonna go on top and I'm just gonna spread it out like so And this is just gonna sit up here to cook. Okay, that is just gonna sit there to cook while I go back and check out my beef and mix it. So the beef is still cooking away, as you can see. Now I'm just gonna mix it up. As you can see, it's got a bit of color on it. So all I'm gonna do is turn it over to cook on the other side. Because we're doing this table size, we don't really need to cook this fully on because we're going to cook the rest of it on top with the vegetables. So I'm just getting some cooking marks and stuff on this right here. And then I'm going to bring the whole pot over and pour it over the top with the vegetables there. 
So as you can see, the beef is almost all cooked through here. Okay, let's take this to the table now. And we're going to pour this to sit on top and let it cook the rest of the way. Ready? Okay, follow me. Okay, so this basically is going to be sitting on top here. And this is going to cook further as we eat. It will slowly cook all the vegetables and the flavoring will get onto there. And that's what we're we'll eating. So I'll be serving this with rice and a side of lettuce, kimchi, and seaweed salad. Awesome. There you go. And that's what we're having for dinner. Hey, as you can see, tonight's meal, bulgogi beef. This is the final product.